All right, number 33. So tells us that there's a, the larger rectangle has a length <clears throat> uh, of 3x minus or plus 2. So I'm going to label that 3x plus 2, okay? And has a width of 5x. So I'll put that up here. So that's 5x. And then our other, uh, the small triangle uh, has a length of 5x plus 2. Um, so that's 5x minus 2, sorry. And a width of x. There we go. So that also says that the, um, the area of the shaded region, so this shaded region, so if I go ahead, shaded, shaded region has an area, and I'll just put that there, that's an area that is equal to 126, uh, what is it, units squared. All right, so if I know the, the shaded area, um, that would be the whole rectangle's area, and then I'm just subtract this inner rectangle, and that will give me that shaded region. So then I can set up my equation, right? So the whole rectangle, the whole outside, um, is going to be 5x times 3x plus 2, right? Uh, and then we're going to subtract the inside area, which is x times 5x minus 2. And that's all equal to 126. Okay. All right, so the next thing I need to do is just go ahead and expand. Let me change colors here. So uh, it doesn't really matter. So I'll go ahead and expand. So I'm going to multiply distributed property here. So I have 15x squared plus 10x, multiply here too, minus 5x squared, and then plus 2x equals 126. So now like we always do, we're going to combine uh, the like terms and then set it equal to zero. So I've got 15x squared, and so then I've got another, um, I'm subtracting 5x squared, so I guess that leaves us with 10x squared, right? I've got 10x and 2x, so that's just plus 12x. And then I subtract 126 from both sides, and then that will set it equal to zero. Uh, I'm going to look for a common factor. So are there common factors? Is there a common factor? That's our first step. Yes. Yeah, so it looks like we can factor out 2. Maybe that will help us a little. So 2 times 5x squared plus 6x uh, minus, let's see, half of 120 is 60. So minus 63 Okay, is equal to 0. All right, so we're going to try to factor uh, 63 is actually um, a number that might be okay to work with, right? So let's try factoring this. We could factor it by splitting this middle part and then grouping it. Uh, if we get stuck, we could try this. So maybe I'll try, let's say I'll try 5x and x. I mean, that's that has to be, at least we know that, that 5 is a prime number, so that has to be the case there, right? And then we got product of negative 63. So what are some factors? Well, I guess 9 and 7. And right away we can see, does 9, do 9 and 7 work? Uh, huh, do 9 and 7 work? So if I had, um, this is probably going to be, so if I had plus 9 here, that would be 45. And then, no, that's not going to work. So that definitely not going to work. Uh, if I had 7 here, that's going to be 35, and then minus, nah, that's not going to work. I don't think that's going to work. Some other factors of 63. Um, well, if we split this, we get 3, and then that will be times 3 and 21. 
maybe that will work. Because if we had, let's put minus three here, that'd be minus 15 plus 21. Does that work? Right, that does work, right? So that gives us uh, a sum of six. Okay, so um, when we go to which of these will equal to zero, let's see. This is going to give us a negative number for x, so we'll cross that out. So that means that x has to be equal to three. So what is it, the three, um, x is equal to three. Uh, and if we look at the question, that's really all it's asking for is what is the value of x? We've answered the question. Sometimes it will say, what are the dimensions of the, the small or the large rectangle? So just be careful to always go back and check that.